this is your host dr sayed bakar along with me i have dr anjani today we will be giving you an overview of msc life sciences at karnataka state open university life science as a subject is a mother of all biological uh, papers or subjects such as botany zoology microbiology biotechnology first of all i would like to welcome all my students for choosing MSc in life sciences at KSOU KSOU is the only platform which provides open distance learning mode for the students based on their convenient to study their to uh, get their academic degree and MSc life sciences which has newly started at KSOU we welcome you all your academic journey at KSOU begins uh, with your admissions and then the respective departments create a individual group via whatsapp and everything will be delivered on whatsapp whether it is the timetable scheduling your examination everything will be provided by the respective department in the whatsapp group and today <coughs> along with me dr anjani will be guiding us about the process of MSc in life sciences at KSOU the department is headed by professor niranjan raj s who has more than 25 years of experience along with him we both myself and dr anjani who is having enormous amount of experience in teaching as well as research to begin with now i request dr anjani to guide the students about the pattern of syllabus welcome students this is dr anjani now we are going to discuss about syllabus of msc life science so as we know uh, we have four semester in msc life science and in every semester we are going to discuss about syllabus so in first semester uh, we have a two hardcore subject which are compulsory for everyone first subject is uh, biodiversity and systematics second one is cell and molecular biology these both subjects are compulsory for everyone then we have four uh, uh, soft core subjects uh, including biomolecules uh, inheritance biology and genetics ecology and evolution and developmental biology so in four uh, soft core subjects you can choose two subjects according to your interest so similarly in second semester also you have two hard core subjects one is microbiology and second one is bio instrumentation these both are uh, compulsory for everyone so similarly we have four uh, soft core subjects including enzymology and techniques second is immunology and immunotechnology third one is cancer biology and fourth one is stem cell biology so similarly you can choose two soft core subjects according to your interest So in third semester you have two hardcore subjects first one is plant physiology and second one is animal physiology these two are compulsory for everyone and uh, you have four uh, soft core subjects including animal biotechnology plant biotechnology microbial biotechnology and plant uh, pathology so in these two you can uh, these four you can choose two subjects according to your interest and one more uh, compulsory subject is their skill enhancement course Uh, where you will study about development of bio fertilizers and bio pesticides so in a uh, last semester fourth one uh, similarly there are two compulsory subjects hardcore subjects including uh, innovation and application in life science and uh, uh, second one is dissertation where you will study about your uh, in, uh, topic of interest uh, for uh, some time uh, along uh, i think it is for 6 months sir and uh, there are four uh, soft core subjects including biostat and bioinformatics second one is pharmacogenesis and uh, drug development uh, third one is principle and applications of genetic engineering and fourth one is ipr and bioethics where one a skill enhancement course is uh, development of fertilizers and biopesticides where from the, uh, this four uh, you can choose two soft core subjects according to your interest thank you my dear students as we heard from dr anjani about the syllabus the syllabus is designed as per the guidelines of ugc and the syllabus is highly competitive and 
you can match the syllabus with any conventional universities and we have covered majority of the syllabus and designed a world class syllabus so when coming to the credits every semester you have 20 credits except the fourth semester you have 22 credits because you will be having a dissertation which is compulsory to all the students where you can choose a topic of your interest and work wherever you can find a good opportunity whether it is university whether it is a research institute or you can do in house dissertation at our department our department is also umbrella for uh, msc microbiology and msc botany which is headed by dr uh, professor niranjan raj yes unlike uh, conventional university we don't have the uh, examination uh, like theory examination uh, we have uh, uh, what do you have we have uh, this practical pra classes pra we will be having a practical classes along with that we don't have a normal c1 c2 exam instead we have assignment writing in assignment writing what we do is you will be given a, uh, two questions among which you need to choose any one question and write and this carries 20 marks. In conventional universities you will be having test but instead of test you will be having assignments and you need to write minimum of 8 pages and if possible you need to write at least two pictorial diagram and everything is handwritten. You will be scanning that and you will be submitting online. So every paper will be provided with uh, two questions. You need to choose among which uh, any question and write for 20 marks. My, de my dear students, once again I am repeating you. In order to get maximum marks, you need to write minimum of 8 pages with at least one or two pictorial diagrams. Along with this, every semester you will be having a PCP program. PCP means personal contact program wherein a students interact uh, with the faculty and the students will be coming to the Mysore center and the practicals will be conducted here and based on this practicals your marks will be evaluated for practical exams and after the completion of practicals you will be having a practical exams which will be evaluated here at the end of the semester you will be having a theory exams and this theory exams you will be appearing it at your respective center if anybody is from Bangalore then you will appear for theory exam in Bangalore if anybody is from Dharwad they will appear for theory exam at Dharwad center like this only for theory exam you will be appearing for your theory uh, respective centers whereas the practical PCP program will be conducted at Mysore branch as this is a new subject uh, to the KSOU. We will be very happy to welcome you all during your PCP program. And the, when it comes to the scope of life sciences, you have plenty of opportunities whether you take any industry, whether you take any R&D uh, organization, whether you take up academics as a career or if you want to go to abroad and continue further studies life science is a base and mother of all biological papers in this life science you will be studying about the functioning of life and the diversity around you the importance of diversity the importance of components around the nature natural compounds around us the importance of forest everything you will be studying and this will be a wonderful platform please encash this and as a faculty, we all here there to cater you and support you to the best so that you can come up in life. With this, let's conclude uh, today's orientation program. If you have any doubt, you can contact us anytime via WhatsApp group. And if you if you are not able to, if your doubts are not cleared, you can it can be cleared when you come to personal contact program. And this timetable for the personal contact program will be updated soon at WhatsApp group of the 
department thank you one and all thank you everyone and thank you sir thank you good luck